Still on more updates from the just concluded local government elections in Okwaibom, the State Independent Electoral Commission has presented certificates of return to 31 elected local government chairmen and vice chairmen today. The swearing in ceremony took place at the State Independent Electoral Commission headquarters, Udodoma Avenue in Uyo, the Okwaibom State Capital. The ceremony had in attendance political leaders and supporters from various local government areas. Some local government chairmen elect who spoke with our correspondent David Esong appreciated the state electoral umpire for their credible conducts as well as the state governor, Pastor Umueno, for delivering on his mandate. For all the stress and everything, to the glory of God, as the one that God found worthy to fly the flag of chairmanship in Ibe Sibositan. After all said and done, by the grace of God today, I have been given the certificate of return as executive chairman Ibe Sibositan, alongside with other of my colleagues. I'm so excited. It's the, God's, the victory belongs to God. We started and God made it possible for us to win, to him be the glory, and the, the, through the support of His Excellency, give God the glory for everything. Let's look forward to wonderful projects in Baranin, maintaining old infrastructures and um, providing new ones, um, nurturing growth agriculturally and in, um, growth in the rural area and um, Growth in the area of agriculture. Operation Light Up in In the meantime, Aquabrum State Governor Pastor Moeno has disclosed that the chairpersons and vice chairpersons of the 31 local government areas elected in the recent local government elections will be sworn into office on Monday. Governor Eno made this announcement during his address at the All Nations Christian Ministry in Eket. ADBN correspondent Mary Onyemechi completes the report. Pastor Umo Eno, while addressing the congregation at the All Nations Christian Ministry, emphasized the importance of promptly inaugurating the newly elected leadership to ensure their legitimacy in receiving all allocations beginning at the end of October. This follows the Supreme Court ruling on financial autonomy for local governments. Pastor Eno, emphasized the appointment of his eldest daughter, Mrs. Helen Obareki, to coordinate the affairs of the office of the late First Lady, Pastor Mrs. Patience Eno. He described this appointment as a natural progression and urged the community to provide her with the necessary support to carry out her duties effectively. Not political. This is natural. So please, all I pray for is support, is to be able to, and for wisdom, so that she can, that none of those programs will die, that she will bring more insight into it. The governor expressed his gratitude to the First Lady, Senator Oluremi Tinibu, and the entourage of some of Nigeria's most esteemed women for their timely visits. He also thanked her for recognizing the appointment of Mrs. Helen Obareki to oversee the late First Lady's office. Yeah, this week, when the First Lady of the Federation came, and I must thank her for coming with all of the entourage. All of the entourage. It's, I didn't know that my wife had so much followership, people that loved her until she died. The guest minister, Reverend Simeon Afolabi, delivered a sermon called from 2 Samuel 12 verses 15 to 23 and Job 35 verses 10, titled, Will You Sing or Sink? He encouraged the congregation and the people of the state to always appreciate God even in times of adversities. Of course, I wanted to know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and them who are the call according to his purpose. He is my life, my strength, my 
Mary Onyemechi, ADBN News.